I have taken ablution and wore my socks. Then, next time when I am taking ablution, no need to remove socks and wash my feet? Question mark. Is that ablution valid? Question mark. First of all, this is known as wiping over the socks or the shoes. In Arabic, al-mashu ala al-khuffayn. And this usually is found in the books of fiqh, but also in the books of aqidah. Because this is part of the aqidah of Ahl sunnah wal jama'ah. Al Imam Ahmad narrated so many hadiths about this from the companions. And he says that I have not a shroud of doubt about this. So this is why the scholars put it in the books of Aqidah to differentiate the Aqidah of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah from those who do not believe in wiping over the socks, such as Al Khawarij and Al Rafidah. They reject it. Us, Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah, we believe in it and we apply it. There are conditions for doing this. So can I wipe on any socks or shoes? No, there are conditions. Condition number one, that you must put on the socks or the shoes you want to wipe over while you are in the state of wudu. So after I finish my wudu, now I can pray. If I put on my socks now or after half an hour or an hour where I'm still in my state of wudu, I did not break my wudu. In this case, later on when I make wudu, I can wipe over my socks or shoes. So this is condition one, to put it on, as per uh, the hadith of Al-Maghir ibn Shu'bah, may Allah be pleased with him, on uh, or in the state of wudu. Second condition, that the material of the khuf or uh, um, the socks or the shoes is halal. You don't wear skins of pig, for example, or of maita, dead animals, because this is najis. And I'm not going to go into tanning and whether it is the meat is eatable or not of that animal. I'm just giving a general idea. Number three, that the socks covers the foot and the ankles. So the area that is usually washed in wudu must be covered with the socks or with the shoes or with the hoof. Because if it's below that, you cannot wipe on it. And... Number four is that you have to observe the time of wiping. So a resident can wipe for a day and night, 24 hours. And a traveler can wipe for three days and three nights, which is 72 hours. And I hope this.